going on, everybody? This is Soldier Hard, and welcome to the American Warrior Radio. 1300 on your AM dial, WMEL, and online at 1300WMEL.com. Sponsored by AVEC Project. Welcome to another exciting edition of American Warrior Radio, the place to be for news, notes, interviews, and current events for all issues military and veteran related. If you or someone you know has ever worn the uniform of the U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, or National Guard or Reserves, you've come to the right place. American Warrior Radio, right here on the Talk to Me station, AM 1300 WMEL, sponsored by AVET Project. You know, this program is all about supporting our troops. So all you patriotic Americans out there, get comfortable. Grab a pen and pencil because there may be some things you want to write down. And let's kick the tires and light the fires. My name is Garen Cohn. As you all know, I'm the president and founder of AVET Project. I'm an Air Force veteran and a retired legal advocate for veterans. But as always, I'm not flying through the airwaves alone. Good morning. I'm Glenn McGuffey, manager of your Brevard County Veterans Service Office, and I've been doing that for about 22 years now. I'm retired Air Force, so we got a couple of blue suitors, uh, ex-blue suitors coming at you today. And as usual, we've got another exciting show. Uh, we're hoping to have uh, some guests on the phone call in and, and uh, get some exciting you know, different viewpoints from them about various sub- subjects. And uh, if we have time today, we'll, t- we'll uh, share some important veteran benefit information for you. And so with that, uh, I'll let you take the take its role in there, Garen. I will take the lead on that. You know, on American Warrior Radio, we're always efforting to bring our listeners frontline phone calls. This is a direct contact from those brave men and women who are serving on the front lines in our theaters of operation. And currently, it's basically down to Afghanistan now, since the drawdown's nearly complete in Iraq. Well, we have with us, or we will have with us, a couple soldiers, one uh, prior army and one that's active duty. Hopefully, we'll get them on the line here. Keep in mind that we're always dealing with the, what is it, a seven-hour time difference as well as the telecommunications difficulties. But we do have a former army member. Sergeant Jeff Berlero, otherwise known as Soldier Hard. You all know him because he actually performs our intro and outro music here on American Warrior Radio. He's going to be joining us here in a moment, and we want to talk about a project that's near and dear to his heart, the Redcon One. It's a new record label that these guys have put together. It's uh, comprised of past warriors and some current ones, Stephen Hobbs being one of them. And uh, we're, we're going to be talking about some interesting things that they've got going on and also how impactful and what this means to have this outlet of music as a way to deal with their combat stress. And I think on the line right now, we've got Soldier Heart. Are you there? Yes, I'm on. How are you doing, Jeff? Doing well, Jeff. Thank you so much for joining us again. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Been a while. I'm trying to stay busy and, you know, getting everything off the ground and up and running. Well, fantastic. As you know, we, uh, we're we going to have some comment and commentary from a couple other members on your record label, but for those listeners that haven't uh, listened to the episode where we interviewed you last, because it's been a while, like you said, you're out in the Bay Area right now, right? That's correct, yes. I'm currently in the San Francisco Bay Area. That's where I, I lay my hat and hope. Oh. Well, we, we really appreciate you joining us, and, and uh, Soldier Heart, because that's what I'm going to call you, it's otherwise known as Jeff Barlow. How many years did you put in the Army, Jeff? I put a total of 10. You know, I got out and ended up getting back in, got out again, and went, went back in. So I did about a total of 10, though, altogether. Any of that time during combat? Yes, 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 it was. I got a, a total of three deployments, uh, um, one in support of uh, Operation Southern Watch, which was in... Um, Kuwait and Iraq guarding the border, and also Operation Iraqi Freedom. 
Well, thank you so much for your service. I wanted to ask, now that you've gotten engaged with the VA and you've got your claim going, because uh, you're a veteran now, you're, you're a veteran, but one thing that's interesting that the listeners are going to want to know about is you actually recorded one of your albums while you were in theater, right? Oh, that's correct, yes. I recorded uh, my deployment album. It was, uh, I released it in 2007. And, um, yeah, I, re I recorded the whole album out in uh, Camp Tanji, Iraq, where I was uh, stationed at. That makes that makes for an interesting situation as far as getting your music out. Now that you're back stateside and you've really got things rolling, this uh, new venture of yours, Redcon One, this record label, tell us a little bit about that and who's involved. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, first, uh, I started uh, Redcon One Music Group. Um, first of all, it was just an idea that I spoke. I was speaking to uh, one of my partners, uh, Sabo, um, and we were just talking about it, you know, and I, I was... You know, he said that, he said, make sure you're right on one. And I was like, you know what, I kind of like that name for a, for a, a record label. So if I ever come up with a record label, that's what it's going to be called. And then, uh, and then a month later, I ended up deciding to come up with Redcon 1. Uh, first off, it's a, uh, it's, it's short for a readiness condition. And the military use that, you know, um, it, there's five levels to uh, a readiness condition. Redcon 1 meaning I'm ready to engage in the straight enemy right now. I'm ready to fight right now. So I wanted to, uh, so I, I created that as far as like the music, you know, you know, music business. That I'm ready to, we're ready to take it on right now and spread our story. So yeah, we got a, a, a lot of artists. Uh, most of our artists are military artists. We also got some uh, civilian artists as well. Um, we got uh, uh, just give you a quick uh, Aries. He's an uh, army veteran. I'm so go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, we got uh, we got Aries. He's he's, all, he's army. Uh, and uh, J. Deuce, he's a Marine. Um, so Stephen Hobbs, of course, you're going to talk to him later on. He's, a, uh, he's also an Army uh, Panda. We got another Army. We got Air Force on there, BQ. We got, uh, you know, um, yeah, we got uh, uh, Adam J.R. Matai. We also got Sonu, Cousin Bank, yeah, and, and uh, another one at HK. He's, uh, yeah, they're all the civilian ones, but yeah, mostly it's, it's, it's all military, but we all come together as a family, and we spread our stories. So you and Sabo were talking, and when you're getting off the phone, Sabo says to you, just make sure you're Redcon 1, and you took that and ran with it for your record label. That's pretty interesting. I like that story. Yeah, 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 because he's also, he's also armor, he, he was also an armor crewman in the Army, and uh, we, we always uh, we always say that before the tanks roll out. You know, we get a Redcon status, and then, you know, he, he, always, he always speak to me in military language, and then he ended up saying that, and I was like, you know what, I like that. I like this. So I ended up creating Red Gun One Music Group and um and uh, picked up a lot of uh, military artists and civilian artists and then I didn't know that everyone would grab onto it so quickly and they and they have and then if you look at our website now, Red Gun One Music Group dot com, we have a uh, our, our merchandise and our music catalog is just is grown so big. We got our sponsor, Mill Fidel Clothing. They they sponsor us and you know provide us with clothing whenever we need it. Yeah, and while, while we've got you here, uh, what is mill hop? Explain that for our audience. They may not uh, completely understand the newer terms of things. Uh, that is something that I came up with, you know, I mean, military hip hop, you know, because a lot of people, you know, they see hip hop, rap, well, I, I like to treat my own genre and call it mill hop, you know, military hip hop. Pretty much the military and hip hop put in together, because the music that I like to speak about personally is about military topics, so. Uh, I don't like to put myself in the same category as hip hop and rap. So I created a uh, military app. Well, and the, the interesting thing is, your your music and Redcon One's music is primarily about soldiering and patriotism, not about uh, sex, drugs, fast cars, and women and gambling like a yeah, lot of Yeah, definitely, hip -hop. definitely. And one definitely. thing that I certainly appreciate is that I can understand the words. Okay, I mean, you inject so much meaning. You know, there's there's stories in each of your songs, as well as Stephen Hobbs and Sabos, and I'm sure others on the label. But it's it's all about the meaning, and not just the, the music, which is really it grabs you anyway. But the meaning is just kind of it it it's just there. You can't help but if you listen to the words, which I can understand a lot of mil, a lot of hip hop stuff. You can't. It's so garbled. I can't even understand. But uh, you guys really put it on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, tell me about the. 
the importance of this music as an outlet for all the stress that you're dealing with and others are dealing with uh, after combat. I mean, this really was your outlet to try and deal with this stuff, yeah? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. That's how it all started. Like, uh, I didn't, like, like, do music to get all big famous and get all the famous stuff. I pretty much did music because it was my outlet. You know what I mean? It was my therapy. It was my escape. And I was supposed to, and I was supposed to share that, you know, the same with uh, a couple of label mates that I picked up. You know, they did the same thing. Um, their mu music is their therapy and help them, you know, pretty much get through another day. But it ended up taking off, taking off so quickly, and then, and then, uh, yeah, it ended up doing this, you know, full time. You know, but it's still my therapy. It's still, it's still our therapy. We still do music for the love of it, and you know, we're just, we're just blessed that you know uh, we got a humongous uh, support base, and you know, people are listen to it and really, you know, understand it and get to know who we are as not only artists but as veterans also yeah what what, what kind of data are you getting as to uh, uh, numbers and the support base for you oh uh, it's uh, uh, specific numbers I, I don't know I can't tell you but I know we have a lot I, I know if, uh, if my son uh, or Steve and Adam are and we post something up on on Facebook and all of a sudden we get all these comments, people, you know, they're just there to support it. Anything that we release, you know what I mean, they're there to support it, they'll, they'll pick it up and they're always quick to tag us and, and, and spread our message, to let, let, let their friends know who we are also. Any so, word on those guys and gals that are on the front lines, say over in Afghanistan, whether they're listening to Redcon 1 artists? Um, yeah, the, the only way we can tell is when they hit us, you know, contact us through our website or our Facebook. You know, Stephen Hobbs is out there, Sable's out there, um, you know, so they're, they're pretty much out there letting us know if, if, you know, they support us and how, you know, how many support us and whatnot. Sure, well, Avet Project is partnering with you to introduce some of your music over there in theater. We're going to be shipping out a bunch of CDs, so uh, hopefully they'll get a sample and you'll even grow more because... Honestly, if you're out there doing maneuvers and you've got some some awesome tunes cranking to build you up and propel you forward, that's got to mean a lot to them. Definitely. Well, tell me tell me a little bit about what you've got going on personally now that uh, now that you're back home. How are things going as you're reintegrating back into civilian life? Are you? Uh, I know you've dealt with the VA, but aside from that, how are things? I'm still adjusting. You know, I, I thought it'd be. I thought, I thought I'd get back into the, you know, real quick, but, you know, it's been a little over a year. It's about a, a year and five months now, and um, it, it, it's easier than when I got out, but I'm still adjusting. I'm still getting used to things. Um, um, I, yeah, like you said, I went through my, my, my episode with the VA. I pretty much, like, want to throw on the towel with that, but, yeah, I decided that i keep going and keep going with it, but it's, uh, it's, it's not how... Um, when I, before I got out, they told me how it would be, you know, like the VA would be there, they'll take care of you. It's, it's really not like that at all. And, uh, you know, well, I'm still going through it. Yeah, and, and the catch word there is persevere, perseverance. You've, once you start the process, you have to power through to the end. And with uh, resources like AVET Project and the County Veteran Service Office and even uh, Shelly Campbell, our warrior lawyer who we had on a uh, previous episode of American Warrior Radio, there are folks out there that are willing to help you maneuver these clear roadblocks that the VA sets up from time to time. But So you got the benefit side going for you. What about health care? Have you... Uh, have you gotten decent treatment with the doctors and what have you out there in the Bay Area? Um, yeah, actually, have yeah. healthcare wise, like as far as like treating me, you know, you know, um, they're quick, they're quick to throw me my medication, you know, they're, they're quick to you know help me out in any in uh, medical wise ways as far as like appointments goes and you know any anything I complain about um, health wise that I complain about, they're 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 quick to help me. But as far as, like, uh, other parts of the VA, it's uh, pretty much not getting any work. So on the medical care side, when you say they're quick to help you, that that uh, perks my ears up like my German Shepherd po pony or puppy at home. It's practically a pony. Yeah, <laughs> almost a pony. <laughs> uh, Quick is not a word we find in Florida very often when you're associated with VA medical care simply because the supply far exceeds the demand and it, there, there, 
there's long waits to get in and get appointments for almost anything, especially specialty care. Have you experienced any of that kind of issue there, or, or are things pretty smooth? Oh, no, as far as, like, you know, you know appointments, uh, uh, setting appointments is easy, but as far as, um, um, getting it, say I want to go in there and I want to make an appointment for Friday or next Monday, it's not going to happen. You know, I pretty much got to wait about three weeks. Well, um, yeah, three weeks, not too bad compared to uh, several months down here. Uh, uh, but uh, it, it's good to hear that they're taking care of you properly in that regard there. And, and I know the claim side of the business because that's where I work, and I know how frustrating that can be. And, and unfortunately, it varies uh, greatly throughout the United States, and our listeners should understand that. We're here in Florida, and we're, we're, uh, we have the... Uh, factually the most busy regional office in the nation their workload is about a thousand percent greater and that's a factual statistic than the nearest other busy regional office in the nation so it, it, but even as Jeff is saying, you know, he, he's out in California and, the, you know, the work, the work there is uh, confusing and befuddling and uh, that's why you need to get the right kind of help when you're doing a claim every time. Exactly. And as we're talking about this, you wrote a song, Road to Recovery. This is kind of a natural tie-in dealing with uh, what it takes once you come back from combat. Tell us a little bit about that, but before you do, throw your website address out there again. Uh, 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 my, my personal address is www.socialheart.com. Uh, the record label is, is redcon1musicgroup.com. Redcon1musicgroup.com. Folks can yeah. go there. And do you have some free downloads or some samples people can grab? Yeah, redcon1musicgroup.com. Yeah, we got samples going on on there. And, uh, uh, but my personal website, socialheart.com, uh, there is free downloads on there. I haven't figured out how 